Yo, yo, welcome. So I don't know if this has happened to you or not. I've been playing on some modded maps, uh, Raven's Creek to be precise in this case, and it was updated the other day, and the update appears to have corrupted my save. Uh, you may have had this happen to you, let me show you. So everything appears to be okay now. You can see we've been playing this character for 17 days, 13 hours. We've got quite a few skills leveled up already. Um, you know, we've got a machete and that, you know, our loot's really nice and we're out exploring here, but look, the level data has been mangled and the game doesn't really know whether we're indoors or outdoors, which walls to cut away, and as you can see, in moments like this, completely unplayable really. That's pretty dangerous, not being able to see our character at all, isn't it, you know? And in fact, the solution that we're going to look at today to these kinds of issues is a solution that you could use for any kind of corrupted world, really. Let's be honest, the important thing here is our character and all of these skills, and the fact that we're 17 days in perhaps is something that you would also want to um, not lose, you know? I mean, really funky stuff going on here. If you look, it's like that. It's like we're on the wrong floor or something. It, it's cutting away the wrong floor and then the, the roof. Yeah, it's uh, pretty funky. And here's our base location, just to show you as well some more of the practice. But look, I mean, very strange, uh, very strange kind of drawing of the, of the level going on, you know? I mean, look at this, like, let me come into the actual room here itself. See, the back of the room's in shadow, and when we go back there, then it's like it's like it thinks the wall is there, like things have been moved in the update of this map. And, you know, we've got a great base here, like, but we did have. It's uh, not very usable now. Look at all these MREs out front, got loads of drinks. Everything's... Everything is happening. That's a zombie coming up the stairs, is it? Excuse me. Better just uh, deal with you. But it's it's borderline playable. Well, it's it's not playable. It's just not playable. It's too too scary, too risky to be out looting as I showed before. So so what can we do here? Well, I've done some research and I've got a solution, um, which we're gonna we're gonna look at now. First thing I'm gonna do, just to be a little clear on uh, where our character is. Let's log out with our character, kind of in the middle of the of the car park out here, just so there's a bit of room around them, um, so that we kind of are in an outdoor space, but I think also, crucially, we're on the ground floor, so that if our position of our character as we try to preserve them into a new world changes a little bit, we're at least on the ground floor, and we won't, like, spawn in, like, on the third floor with no floor underneath us. <laughs> So, in build 41 at least, but I think in older versions it's the same. You want to go to your users uh, folder, and the path's up here, and then Zomboid will be in that folder. And then in here there's a saves folder. Now in here you've got all your different game modes. We were playing on Apocalypse difficulty, and here's our save. So, first things first, let's create the new world that we're going to move into. So, we want a Raven's Creek spawn again. And the character that we, we create is, is not important here, we're going to be replacing them. So we just jump in with a blank character, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so here's our spawn. Interesting, I've never seen this spawn before, presumably that's because this is part of the new Raven's Creek update that I just haven't, <laughs> I haven't played on yet. So that's cool, that's exciting. But I just wanted to kind of walk around and see what happens here. I've okay, right, so just, we've, just got bit, <laughs> we've just got scratched a bit or something. Doesn't really matter, we'll get rid of this one. Uh, if we walk into a room, the cutaways seem to be acting like normal. Yeah, everything looks like it's not broken. Yeah, very nice. Okay, cool. Well, anyway, we've got a lacerated head, so time to trade this character in for our <laughs> for our proper one, eh? <laughs> so we have these two two worlds now. So this is the, the old one, um, and we can uh, maybe make a backup of it before you do anything like this. So now we're going to come in here, and having a look at these files we've got here, um, we need to understand uh, what, what some of these, these files do. You know, which ones do we want to replace and which ones should we, should we leave behind? So we used to have a map underscore p file, which is where our player used to be kept. But since build 41, structure's changed a little bit. There's a few files we need to bring over with us to pull off this little character maneuver. And that is map underscore t, which is the time elapsed information. We want players, this database file here players database journal we want we want the vehicles database file and the vehicles database journal as well we want all of these guys these five files we copy them all from our uh, old save into our new and, and so when we paste it's going to say there's some files to replace here and yes we we replace those files okay done all right and then here we are back in game hit load and we want to go to our new world where we just dumped all of the new stuff and as you can see 
we have our character. We've survived for 17 days. The date at the top there is indeed the 27th of the 7th now. We've got the character stats. We've got the skills. We're actually in the location that we wanted to be in. Oh, there's something strange there with the visuals. Is that supposed to be like that? I don't know. But certainly all of the cutaways seem to be working much better already. See, that door's now locked. And yeah, the, the stuff that we had out here isn't here. The containers are empty. But our inventory came with us. So you can see exactly how you could actually use the character as a bit of a mule here. You can see the location that the character came in at is perfectly fine. This visual glitch along here, I'm not sure what that is. I've not witnessed this before when doing experiments, so maybe maybe this method isn't foolproof completely, but it seems pretty good to me. We have a world that is as old as our old world. Um, admittedly, some of the places we originally looted, for example, like this greengrocer, is full of loot again. Yeah, so there's a lot of rotten food in here, but at least it's rotten. So the time elapsed has affected the uh, the stuff in here, you know? I'm not being very careful with this character because I know we can just load a new one in. I'm just trying to show you guys. Um, but essentially we have preserved the run. And all you'd need to do is use the character like a bit of a mule back and forth between the worlds, filling up backpacks, filling up containers, taking even fridges with you if you wanted. You could dismantle beds and bring those with you. Any items that you have in game that you can put on your character's person can be transferred back and forth like this. So you can you can bring all your loot with you too. You'd probably want to spend some time just re-clearing the area here. Like I say, the zombie population files, we could mess about, I haven't actually messed about with transferring those over, but we could mess about with transferring those over to see if we can bring all the dead bodies uh, on the street over, because um, we're going to have to re-clear Ravens Creek really. Um, the, the town in there, as you can see, the zombies all across this car park that weren't there before, and the bodies that were here before, are, you know, in my old save, aren't there anymore. Admittedly, like I say, we're kind of duping loot a little bit because all the loot we already brought into our base is back out there in the world for us to go grab again. So there's a few trade offs here, but ultimately, um, you know, my character's only 17 days old, so in my next stream, I think I'm probably going to start again anyway um, with a brand, a brand new run of Ravens Creek, seeing as we have to clear the area again anyway. We're only 17 days in. If I was 3, 4, 5, 12, 18, 36 months in, <laughs> then I would be, I would absolutely be using a method like this to continue my playthrough, you know. You, you can hopefully use this method, and this is a build 41 proof method. Um, like I say, in previous builds, it was just map underscore p but this is the build 41 method so i hope you enjoyed the, the little tutorial here and i hope this helps a few people save lost worlds as it were thanks very much for watching i'm dankenstein do subscribe uh or drop a like and uh we stream project zomboid on this channel very very regularly so drop by and say hi on one of the streams and watch me you know die you can find out how i died every week um yeah, I hope to hope to see you in the stream soon. All right, thanks for watching. Take care, people. Peace.